voice. Get right with God. A lot of people uh, are saying the book of J, uh, the book of Philip is all about joy. Uh, secondarily, yes. Let's look at just let's do some scan on this. Go to uh, Philippians chapter one. Philippians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4 says, I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always offering prayers with joy in my every prayer for you all. Here, Paul is showing us that you know, our prayer life should be uh, filled with joy, not of drudgery or laborious task. It should be a joyful experience. Again, in verse 18, I'm just showing you, we're do, doing a quick scan to see the different times Paul uses this, this concept of joy in the book of Philippians. What then? Only in every way, whether in pretense or in untruth, Christ is proclaimed, and this I rejoice. Again, Paul is saying, you know, I, I rejoice. When, the, when, when I see people preaching the gospel, I'm blessed. I really, and, and Paul said, you know, I really don't care. I really don't care if if uh, they're doing it from a wrong motives. As long as Christ is being preached, I'm happy. I remember one time I was in the airport. I saw this man just standing up while we're waiting. And he started preaching. Man. And people were looking at him in an odd way. I went there. I, I listened to him. Parang moral support right and after that i went to him and said oh, sir i admire your your boldness and i was blessed and i was rejoicing for such a man i remember one time i was in san francisco with my wife there's this man doing that i was listening he was so passionate remember that guy and then i had the picture with him so you know i said well you know i admire you and, and, and he was so sound in his teaching. So Paul was saying here in, in Philippians chapter 1, I really don't care what their motives are. As long as Christ is preached, I'm joyful. Verse 25, it says, Convinced of this, I know that I will remain and continue, continue with you all for your progress and joy in the faith. What does that mean? Joy is always connected to truth. The word faith there is um, truth, sound doctrine. So, continue with, with you all for the progress and joy in the faith. The more you know about truth, the more you will be joyful. Joy and truth are bound together. Now, you can never find truth without knowing the word of God. So chances are people who doesn't read their Bible a lot and meditate on God's word, book moving. They're not joyful. Chapter 2, verse 2, it says, Make my joy complete by being of the same mind, maintaining the same love, united in the spirit, united in one purpose. Verse 17, But even if I am being poured out as a drink offering upon the sacrifice of your faith, I rejoice and share my joy with you. It tells us that we can share our joy with other people. You know, in the book of uh, Thessalonians, go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. You know, Paul made a tremendous investment to the church in in Thessalonica. First Thessalonians chapter 2, I read verse 1 and 2. Here we see uh, Paul risk suffering and insult for the sake of the gospel. For you yourselves know, brethren, that my coming to you was not in vain. But after I had already suffered and been mistreated in Philippi, as you know, we had the boldness in God to speak to you 
the gospel of God amid such opposition. So sabi niya, I'm willing to suffer. I'm willing to be insulted. Verse 4 and 5, it says, But just as we have been approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel, so we speak, not as pleasing man, but God who examines our heart. For we never came with flattering speech, but you know, nor with pretext for, for greed, God is witness. He says, I go there in uh, your church not to be pleasing to man, but pleasing to God. I don't care if I suffer. I don't care if I get insulted. Verse 6, nor do we seek the glory from men, 